All right, hi everybody. We are back with uh, the ABC Murders with Agatha, or Agatha Christie's The ABC Murders. Jeebus, can't get it right. Um, and I, Juliana, am meandering again. Woo. Um, as I explained last time, um, I'm going to try and keep it down to like two puzzles or something during a recording session because I'll get annoyed. And also, I, I realize I quit talking. Um, because I'm thinking in my head and not aloud, and that makes it not fun for you guys. I will either try and edit it in post, which is not my strong suit. Um, I mean, the editing's fine. The, the talking about what I was thinking about is really a problem, um, because sometimes I just don't know. Like, sometimes I, I will legitimately be like, I don't know what I was thinking at all. It happens. Um... So anyway, we're sur looking at the surrounding shops. Uh, I have come out of the, the um, room through the tobacco shop, and here we are. So, um, let's kind of look around. Uh, I, I would love some input. Four pence a letters, a lovely lot of letters, four pence only. Um, so she was not here the last time. Um. Dash, a puddle. How clumsy. I kind of want to get. This place is run down. Let's see. Something, something, something. There. Rubbish. There we go. This is a really cutthroat neighborhood. Anyone could have committed the crime. Okay. Um. Strawberries, sixpence a pound. Okay. I'm just going to observe her. This woman appears to be a smoker. There we go. She's a big smoker. She must have been a customer at the tobacco shop. Okay. Now we will talk with her. Yay. Um. Did you know Alice Asher well? And for starters, who are you? I'm Hercule Poirot, the detective. Tch, you're foreign, that's for sure, with your accent and your odd way about you. And you're here about Alice's murder, I suppose. Well, I've nothing to say to you. Did you speak to the victim yesterday? No, I never saw her. Please try and help me, madame. Why should I help you? For your beautiful moustache? Heh. <laughs> Come on, move along now. You're scaring away my customers. Please, do not be ridiculous. Hmm. So here, here's the question. Do we want to say that, you know, uh, the victim came to see her? Or say that she went into the tobacco shop or accused her of lying? I'm generally just in favor of accusing her of lying, but, uh... One thing is certain, you are lying. So I'm a liar, am I? Get away from my stall! All right. Oh, you again? I've nothing to say. I don't know that there's anything else we can get out of this. Um... So we've solved all of the questions we have, which is kind of sad. Um, let's see what else we can get away with uh, doing while we are here. Hey, Waro. Is the greengrocer causing trouble? I'll sort her out. No, please, leave her, Chief Inspector. I'll get her to talk later. I've found the victim's niece. She's waiting for you in the back of the shop. Thank you, mon ami. I'll question her. So 
also I, I know that I'm recording a couple of these ahead of you guys seeing any of them and that's just so that um, I have time to uh, do other things in my life uh, like my day job um, and, and that's not you know saying anything bad about that it's just uh, uh, Jap had the body removed out of respect for the victim's niece his attention is commendable so if you've said something in the first couple of videos and it's you're not seeing it show up, please just understand that this is because um, a lot of them were previously recorded and it's nothing, it's not that I'm not listening to you, really. I am, um, I just, I, I was trying to get a, a couple of things done so that I'd have it ready to go for you like once a week. So, um, which doesn't sound like a lot, but... Um, considering that Sack and I have a time frame of like one or two days a week where we can actually sit down together and either record or edit things uh, or review something that somebody else has edited for input back and forth about something uh, we try and manage our time for that fairly well because um, it's very limited um, so yeah, no, if, if you're noticing we haven't changed something that we said we were, or that, you know, we may have commented, okay, we'll work on that, and it's been a couple of weeks, it's probably because we recorded it before that. We're sorry. We're terrible people. Um, and uh, the meandering is, is just my way of um, having more game time. Is grief sincere? Eek. There we go. She appears to be very upset. She's dressed in mourning. She looks fragile. So I never want you guys to think that your comments aren't taken seriously. They they very much are. We're just uh we just don't always have the best time with it, um and, and getting it into development. So uh just just wanted you guys to know. And I enjoy recording and things. Um you were very fond of your aunt, am I right? She was the only family I had since my mother died. Your aunt did not have any children, is that correct? No. She was separated from her husband. What do you think about Franz Asher, your aunt's husband? He never left her alone. Poor aunt. She used to drop by all the time and make a scene. Um. Was your aunt afraid of her husband? He shouted a lot, but she wasn't afraid of him. Why, he used to slink away when she turned on him. He was afraid of her, if you like. Your aunt should have asked for a divorce. Oh, no, sir. My aunt has principles. <laughs> well, you aunt's principle have led her to the morgue. <laughs> that was helpful. Hmm, Hastings, please see this young lady home. I fear that it's quite impossible to finish our interview at present. Poirot, what have you done? I've never known you be so brutal. Oops, my bad. No ego points for me. The donkey trophy, that's great. Um, we're missing a clue. I'm not even going to assume that we can get there from here. Um, All right, uh, cigarette packet near the hands of the victim. Body was, uh, is that helpful? Packets meddled in the middle of the shelf, or meddled on the shelf. Um, she has one wound at the back of her head. Um, woo! Yay. The murderer probably pretended to be a customer. 
He hit the shopkeeper from behind as she turned around to serve him. Okay. Alright. Um, let's see if we can actually do this. Um... This actually was the last scene at 5.30. Um, no girl I died. Nope. Okay. Um... Can we establish? Alright. Can we reduce this time frame? Um... Um. Alright, we need another clue. I'm going for it. We'll be back um, shortly for that. Alright. That's lovely. Sir. So lovely. We have to wait for him to sleep it off. He's all yours, Poro. There are a few things I need to check. That must be some way of sobbing him up. I wonder what his wife used to do. He must have scared the customers away. Especially considering we know how often it happened based on uh, the niece's information. It's Ali Sasha's notebook. Sorry, it's it's got her credit and deb debt information or debit. Bodley. The fruit seller has debts too. She will probably be more cooperative thanks to this piece of information. Alright, anything else? Hmm. A box of new stockings. That's interesting. All right, we can't talk to him. We know this. Uh, he is he is out. Uh, the joys of of drinking to excess. All right. Um. Strawberries, six pence a pound. A bottle of poor quality vinegar. The smell could awaken the dead. As someone who does not enjoy vinegar, that's most of them. But anyway. Um. Your fruit is rotten. What? A foreigner dares to say that? According to the victim's account book, you owed her ten pounds for tobacco and magazines. That's a lie. She owed me one pound. I swear. Now, please be so kind as to explain this. Look at my account book. Alice owed me 11 pounds for fruit and vegetables. I may have had a slate at her shop, but she had one at mine. She owed me one pound. And that reminds me I have to get it back from her niece. That is quite enough. Your account book has saved you. But I might ask Chief Inspector Jap to throw you in the cells for one or two nights while he checks your entries. Do you want to go to prison? Prison? Now that's not fair. I haven't done nothing. In that case... I am counting on your full collaboration. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Listen, I didn't kill Alice, I swear. But it's true that I did go to the shop yesterday. At what time? Six o'clock. She left me a note saying she wanted some strawberries if I got some. I received them late, about six. So I took them over to her. But you did not see her. She wasn't in the shop, so I just put the strawberries on the counter and left. Hmm. Did you see anything unusual in the shop? No. Well, maybe one thing. There was always a railway guide on the counter. Alice didn't sell them. Maybe it's the customer who left it there. You were not alarmed? I thought Alice had just gone to get her medicine from her room and that she'd be straight back. You mentioned medicine. Something for her cough. She used to take it a lot. Who do you think killed her? France. Her scoundrel of her husband. He was always after her for something. Well, he's a foreigner. 
Uh, sorry, sir. What I mean is he's German. That's even worse. Did you see Franz Asher enter the tobacco shop late yesterday afternoon? Well, no. But at that time of the day, the streets are packed, and I have better things to do than watch her shop. I'll just borrow your bottle a moment. Take it. It's what Alice used to sober up her husband. But try not to empty the bottle. Joy. Let us now try and... All right, we can. Okay, yay. Now we have that. Uh, I'm going to get us back to the shop and I will call that good for this one. Um, I was hoping to solve this crime, but it looks like that'll be a little bit longer. Um, I don't want to take up too much of your time during the day. So uh, we'll call this good. Uh, thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe. Um, meandering will probably be an off and on thing. Um, hopefully it's not just me meandering, but uh, it's what I, I like to do. Um, this game's pretty linear, it's, so there is no real meandering. But hopefully another time there will be. Uh, anyway, uh, comment if you would like something you'd like to see us doing. Let us know. Um, just all of the general, let us know what you'd like to see and we will do our best to try and do it. May not happen right away, but we will try and get on that. Anyway, thank you guys so much. It's greatly appreciated. And uh, I will see you in the next video.